a batch from the Cuban Medical Brigade on a mission to help St. Lucia fight the COVID-19 pandemic, recently returned home to Cuba. Minister for Health and Wellness, Senator the Honorable Mary Isaac, commended the Cuban healthcare workers for the sterling contribution and service provided to the people of St. Lucia. So they are returning home. Um, they have served us in St. Lucia. They have served us extremely well. Our people were reporting how pleased they are to have had um, these nurses and doctors attend to them during their stay here in St. Lucia. I have already thanked them on behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia. I have thanked them for the service that they gave to us so freely, so willingly and so lovingly. And um, we are here to say goodbye to them. Sadly, but it is a reality that, you know, all good things often come to an end. Cuban Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Alejandro Simán Casmarin, emphasized the importance of the international cooperation between the two countries and expressed their commitment to continue providing medical support. And a special moment for them because after three months of working together, uh, they are already part of the beautiful history of friendship, cooperation and solidarity between Cuba and St. Lucia. On behalf of the Cuban government, on behalf of the Cuban people, on behalf of the Cuban Medical Brigade, I would like to, to express our appreciation to the St. Lucia government, to the St. Lucia people, to the St. Lucia Ministry of uh, Health and Werner, the Minister Mary Isaac, who uh, has been very kind to be here with us today. I would like to, to express our appreciation to all of them for the hospitality shown to the, the Cuban health specialists. A total of 29 nurses and one doctor of the Cuban Medical Brigade completed the medical mission and departed St. Lucia for Cuba. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune.